Is your Linux desktop on your PC or laptop making the system unresponsive? Are you in search of finding a lightweight Linux distro for your old PC or laptop to give them a fresh life? That's exactly why I'm here to show you guys some of the best lightweight Linux distros of 2020 that you should start using on your low-end PC or laptop. These distros which I will be presenting in a moment require more of your hardware requirements and get you started with Linux operating system. Using these free lightweight Linux distros, you can watch movies, listen to music, and do some office stuff and also you can learn to code. This is a top 5 list of the best lightweight Linux distros of 2020. Let's get started. When I say a lightweight Linux distro, which means it uses a fewer hardware resources and is powered by a lightweight desktop environment, which indeed makes the operating system much responsive and feels super fast. That way, all of the tasks that you would do on your PC or laptop may feel more responsive than the heavily customized Linux distros. Starting with the number one in the list, we are having Zorin OS Lite Edition. Well, Zorin OS comes in different versions like Ultimate, Standard, Light, and Education. One of the additions which I prefer using it on any old computer or laptop is going to be a Zorin OS Light Edition. This distro comes with a lightweight desktop environment called XFCE and can run on a bare minimum hardware. This light edition of Zorin OS looks visual stunning and the XFCE desktop environment provides a minimal desktop experience to the end user that makes the system run much faster and responsive. At first glance, the desktop feels incredible and eye-pleasing. They have customized the XFCE to look more modern and powerful. In one word, they simply look next level. The appearance section may let you customize the desktop according to your fancy, meaning you can change the themes, icon styles, mouse cursors, and more. Apart from desktop experience, Zorin OS Lite Edition comes preloaded with some of the useful applications that help in getting started. You get a video player, Firefox browser, Thunderbird email, Office Toolkit that includes word processor, spreadsheets, and more. Zorin OS also provides the App Store where you can find a lot of applications and can be installed within a few steps. Since Zorin OS is based on Ubuntu long-term releases, you can use APT and Debian package managers to install or update the packages. And when it comes to coding, I ran Android Studio, IntelliJ, and everything works super fine. I haven't found any issues with the IDE, it actually handled pretty good on my PC with 4 gigs of RAM. When it comes to performance, I would say it's actually pretty dope. Initially, my expectations were very low, but after running out a couple of applications and spending a time for coding, I have noticed this is the perfect for the one who wants simplicity, yet powerful, and minimum customization, then Zorin OS Lite is the one you must prefer for trying out on your old PC or laptop. When it comes to security, this distro receives on-time security patches and updates that makes your system more secure and updated. Overall, I would say Zorin OS Lite Edition uses a minimal tweaked XFCE desktop environment which is simple, user-friendly, and eye-pleasing. This distro can be used for your daily tasks like browsing, coding, media consumption, and more.
Next up, we are having in the list Linux Mint 2020. Well, this distro has gained huge popularity in the Linux industry, which makes an ideal free operating system for everyone. Linux Mint 2020 features a Cinnamon 4.6 desktop environment that looks more modern and refined. From the user perspective, this desktop feels super solid and it's very close to Windows. If you're a Windows user, then within a few seconds, you will get started exploring the user interface. Like XFCE, Cinnamon Desktop offers a minimal customization that lets you tweak the user interface according to your fancy. For example, you can change themes which are readily available. Along with that, you can also change the icon styles and more. The moment Linux Mint loads up, you will be presented with a welcome screen that helps the new users to customize the desktop on the spot. For example, you can change the panel layouts, enable or disable the firewall, and you can also install the recommended graphic drivers if in case you have any dedicated graphic card installed on your PC or laptop. I would say this welcome screen is pretty useful and helps in configuring your system hassle-free. Since Linux Mint 2020 is based on Ubuntu LTS, you will receive a support from the Mint team for a few years. Like Zorin OS, Linux Mint comes with some of the useful applications like Office Toolkit, Firefox Browser, Media Players, and more. When it comes to performance, Linux Mint runs any application you throw at it and you won't face any system crashes. Performance-wise, I have no complaints and everything works pretty snappy. Overall, I would say, from beginners to anyone, Linux Mint gives a super stable performance for your old PC or laptop, which has a few hardware resources that indeed help in exploring the more possibilities of learning Linux. So if you are switching from Windows and wanted to kickstart in learning Linux, then Linux Mint 2020 is the one you must choose from. Next up, everyone's favorite, Manjaro Linux. Manjaro is an Arch-based Linux desktop that is known for power and speed. Manjaro comes in different flavors of desktop, and the XFCE is the fastest and lightweight desktop which you should prefer using. This distro is one of the fastest growing Linux distros with tremendous community support. Manjaro focuses on user-friendly, accessibility and the system itself is designed to work fully straight out of the box with a variety of pre-installed software. These are some of the useful applications that comes pre-installed with Manjaro which may fulfill all the basic computing usage. The app store you get to see lets you download thousands of applications for free and even you can use a Pac-Man manager to download any package via terminal. The Arch repositories contain some of the useful packages that you can simply install within a few commands. Unlike other operating systems, you have a full control over your hardware without any restrictions. This makes it ideal for users who want to learn how Linux works and how it is different from other operating systems. From this perspective, it is also suitable for beginners similar to the way an Arduino is an excellent entry point to embedded hardware development. Overall, I would say, performance-wise, Arch Linux may sit at the top and provides a stable user experience without any worries on your PC or laptop. This distro can do a lot and you can use it from general purposes to coding and more. Up next, we're having Peppermint. 
Peppermint is Ubuntu-based Linux distro which uses an LXDE desktop environment which is known for speed, fast, and lightweight. This way, all your tasks may open quicker and responsive. Peppermint has a unique quality that sets it apart from the other Linux distributions. It's a combination of cloud-based infrastructure and regular desktop applications for Linux. Since it's based on Ubuntu LTS, you may receive a security patches and software updates for so long time. Along with that, you will be able to access Ubuntu repositories and install your favorite tools to start working with Peppermint. Like other distros, the team of Peppermint offers some of the necessary tools like Firefox browser, Office Toolkit, and more. Peppermint also supports both 32-bit and 64-bit versions, so if your PC has a 32-bit processor, you can choose a 32-bit version. Also, it supports an ICE application that makes and manages web-based applications efficiently. These features make a good alternative for Chrome OS, including a full-fledged and traditional Linux desktop experience. When it comes to performance, definitely this distro is designed to run on low-end hardware and gets the most out of it and gives you a decent user experience throughout your day. All the basic tasks can be done with ease. There is no issue you would encounter while running heavy programs like IntelliJ IDEA and it handles pretty good. Speaking about software support, Peppermint OS is actively developed and maintained. It releases a significant upgrade version as soon as Ubuntu LTS releases its their update. Moreover, it also follows a sort of rolling release called Resin, which includes some minor fixes and integrated software updates. And last but not the least, we are having at number 5, MX Linux. MX Linux is a midweight Linux distro based on Debian stable branch. It is designed to combine an elegant and efficient desktop with simple configuration, high stability, solid performance, and a medium-sized footprint. It uses the lightweight XFCE desktop environment. This way, the user interface feels super snappy and more responsive than other distros of 2020. MX Linux is currently the number one Linux distro of 2020 according to DistroWatch. Due to the level of support from the community made MX Linux the best and number one Linux distro of 2020. Unlike other Linux distros, MX Linux 2020 comes with some of the useful tools that no other Linux distro will provide. MX Linux comes with innumerable useful tools like iDevice Mounter, Boot Repair, System Cleaner, HTOP, Bootable USB Maker, and many many other incredible tools that clears all the headaches for the end user. MX Linux is all-in-one Linux distro that you could use on your old PC or laptop. It is called the midweight Linux distribution and it's the best Linux OS that can run on bare minimum hardware. Overall, I would say performance-wise, the desktop feels pretty snappy on low-end hardware. You can use this Linux distro from coding to normal usage and it may not gonna disappoint you at any cost. So these were the top 5 picks of best lightweight Linux distros that you should prefer using on your old PC or laptop and bring them back to the new life. If you ask me which one I use it for my personal computing, then I would pick Linux Mint and Manjaro Linux for my requirements. 
So what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments down below which Linux distro you're currently using and why do you think it's better for your daily task? Comment down below right now. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching this video. It's been KSK Ryle. I'm going to catch you in my next video. Peace. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right It feels right